Hey you guys, what's up? It's your girl Tamaria Lakay coming to you with another video on my sister locks. I just recently started documenting my journey where I go from a 4C loose natural to a locked natural. So if you're interested in natural hair content, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and also make sure you hit the notification bell so that you don't miss out on any of my future uploads. So in today's video, I just wanted to go over some general questions you might wanna keep in mind when you go and meet up with your sister lock consultant prior to getting your sister locks installed. If you would like to see this video, go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so the first question you wanna go ahead and ask is how much is it gonna cost for you to maintain your locks throughout your sister lock journey? You wanna make sure that you get a clear explanation on how much it's gonna cost you when you go to get your sister locks retied. Now, let's just say hypothetically, you go to get your sister locks retied and you guys come across some locks where you're experiencing some slippage or some bunching and they need to be repaired. Make sure you ask your sister lock consultants how much they charge to repair locks in that type of situation so that you just have a clear understanding in case something goes wrong and your locks need to be repaired. Something else that I feel that is really important that you should ask to see prior to your installation is to see your consultants work and to ask how many heads they've actually completed on their own with installing sister locks. So just see if they have a portfolio or if they have a website or just, you know, random pictures on their phone of clients that they actually installed the sister locks on. That way you'll have a clear vision of what your hair could or may look like. Another question you might bring up during your consolation is asking them what is included within your total installation fee. So you're gonna have this huge fee at the beginning. You just wanna make sure that you ask them what all comes with that. Now, typically you should get your sister locks installed. That should be a part of the fee. You should get your first retightening for free within that first initial install fee. And you should also get a sister lock starter kit. Now, now make sure you ask just to be sure because every consultant is a little bit different. All right, so another question that you might wanna go ahead and ask your sister lock consultant is, do they have any tips or suggestions on how you should wash your hair once you actually get your sister locks installed? Now, depending on your hair, you might get some different information. So another question you might wanna go ahead and throw in when talking to your sister lock consultant is to ask her what are her tips tips and suggestions on washing your sister locks. So that way you will know how your sister lock consultant feels is best for you to wash your hair during your sister lock journey. Not only do you wanna ask her how you should wash your hair, you wanna ask her questions like how often, how many times should you wash your hair in a month? And you also wanna ask her if she suggests any other products other than the sister lock starter shampoo for cleansing your hair. You also wanna ask if you should color your hair before or after you get your sister locks installed. I know certain consultants have a preference. From what I've heard, most prefer that you actually color your hair before you get your sister locks installed. And then that way they can give you the details on how soon you should be coloring your hair before you get your sister locks. Now doing your consultation, your sister lock consultant is going to look at your hair. There's gonna be some measuring. There's gonna be some determining of your texture and your type of hair. You might wanna just go ahead and ask your sister lock consultant if they feel as if it's necessary for you to go ahead and get your hair trimmed before getting your sister locks. So another question you wanna go ahead and ask your sister lock consultant is if kids are allowed during the installation process. Some have a preference to where they don't really want kids there and some have it set up to where it is a kid-friendly environment. Also ask if you can bring any other guests, even including including your little fur babies. So another question that you wanna go ahead and ask your sister lock consultant before arriving at your install appointment is what method of payments do they accept for paying your installation fee? Make sure you guys have a clear understanding on that before you show up. Also make sure you ask your consultant how long your hair has to be before getting your sister locks installed. I know there are some consultants that prefer at least three inches of hair and then there are some that won't start 
start unless it's at least four inches of hair. So make sure that you go ahead and ask that question if you're starting your sister locks with short hair. And since you're gonna be planning on spending a lot of time with this person and you're going to be trusting them to take care of your hair throughout this journey, you might wanna ask them some little personal interview questions just to see what kind of response they give you and also to give you like some feedback on the kind of person that they are or that you might be dealing with. So you could ask them what their clients like most about getting their hair taken care of by them. Because nine out of 10 times, if your consultant is doing a good job and she's representing a lot of clients, then they're gonna have some good things to say about her. So just see what those good things are from your consultant. Then you could also ask them if they had the opportunity to improve one thing about themselves as a consultant, what would it be? And that just gives them some room to be honest and open with us because not everyone is perfect. And I know there are some people that's been in the game for a long time, but that still doesn't mean that they don't have things to work on. So it just kind of gives you some feedback on their overall character and personality. Something else that I feel that would be really important to ask your consultant prior to getting your sister locks installed is just to make sure that you guys are really clear on all of the things that are centered around money. So let's just say you need to ask your consultant, is there any additional fees or costs for missing appointments or showing up late to appointments? Because I've heard some testimonies to where these are some things that ladies actually experience with their consultant. Okay, you wanna go ahead and ask your consultant, are they gonna be flexible with retie scheduling? You wanna make sure that you can either reschedule your appointment, let's say you have an emergency, you gotta go out of town, so you need your retie to be sooner than what it is you want to make sure that your consultant has the ability to kind of fit you in for things of that nature now my consultant only does reties on the weekend or you might want to ask your consultant do they have anybody else that they recommend that could do your reties for you just in case they're not available so that's basically what happened with me and my consultant she has the the person that she works with then she would send me to her and let her read tighten my hair so that's pretty much all of the questions that I have for you guys if you have any extras please leave them down below in the comments um, I will go ahead and leave every single question in the description so in case you want to copy and paste it and put it in your notes for future references I'm also going to leave some videos right here and also right here for you to check out next I hope you enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up hit that share button and I will see you in the next one. Bye.